going to Publix on Sundays has become a habit. Mm. Yes. Hi. What you doing? We're gonna pick you up. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Enjoy. Hi. How goes it? It's been a while since I last recorded. Uh, <laughs> I think the last clip I, I got was on like um, August 9th or something like that. It's like September. Such as life, things get busy. Another episode in the saga of me fighting lawnmowers. This thing is still adopted and it's still a piece of crap. So I'm gonna pull apart that carburetor one more time. I'm gonna see if I can at least make it run. All right, current theory. So inside of this guy, which this is fuel delivery right here. I have a little pin that puts this like float, like what you'd have in a toilet. Uh, and that lets fuel into the cup, which then primes the the carbs here, right? Primes these guys uh, and lets fuel go upwards. So what I think is happening is that there's this little pen right in here. And I don't think that that's either seated or is working or whatever, because it just, the cup just fills up and it just gets literally, um, gets literally flooded with fuel. So. We're going to pull that apart and see what we can do. Yeah, it's really frustrating because uh, I pulled it apart and uh, something wrong with it. Like everything looks intact. Nothing looks broken. Nothing looks chipped. Yet the cup is still flooding. Because there is a leak somewhere, you know? It's very difficult to know from where. Because everything's so tiny and it's broken and it's a like gas lawnmower and it's cheap and it's not supposed to be good. Well, that was time well wasted. Um, as you can see, I haven't even bought these bookshelves yet. Literally, the, the end of the last video, they're saying that this episode was going to be, or this vlog, whatever we want to call it, was going to be finishing this. And I've done some, I've done some work. You know, there's, it's still dirty AF down here. But like, look, TV's back. Mega desk is gone. It's just a lot. It's just, it's, it's where life is right now. You know, like, just is what it is. It is what it is. After the long fought battle with the gas mower. It has been sold. Um, Labor Day weekend was not that long ago, so I figured I'd get rid of it, buy something new. I sold it, it is gone, it is out of my life. It's no longer my adopted child. I have something new. I've gone electric. Seriously, this thing is awesome. <laughs> um, a, it folds up like this really conveniently, which is just fantastic. So for one, it folds up like this really conveniently. Uh, it's super easy to push down, it's got the whole, um, self-propelled walking thing on it. And yeah, I mean, it's a new lawnmower. Um, this function right here, the auto height function where you can change it up and down really easily. So good. I use this thing to cut the grass. Um, and even going through some like really heavy stuff, which I think I have a clip of, uh, this thing killed it. So I got the lawnmower, the blower, the edge trimmer, and I went in and brought a string trimmer, whatever you want to call it, um, and then I picked up the blade attachment for that as well. This is the, uh, what do they call it? It's Bandit series. Um, got those. Picked all of them up for around 800 bucks with three batteries um, and chargers and such, so um, I can do a, the whole lawn on a single battery, um, as well as these guys soldiered fantastically um, as I did some edging. So yeah, uh, Labor Day, I went full dad and bought new lawn equipment. Hmm, yep. I'm an... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what the license plate was. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, we're at the house ditching some furniture. David is uh, currently trying to buckle himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I don't think that's how you're supposed to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna put some ratchet straps on it. <laughs> I'm still trying to buckle him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>